You okay? You feeling okay? You look a little nervous. Uh, a little. And we're back in 10? Just be yourself. You'll be great. In four, three, two. Yesterday, he was a writer with only one book to his name that few people had heard of. But today, Simon Hayes is being talked about all over the country and across the internet, and all because of a single article. Simon, thank you for joining us today. So, tell us how it happened. <sighs> well, I, uh, I wrote uh, an, uh, an uh, article. Is it hot? Simon, you're certainly not the first person to criticize these books, but you've really hit a nerve. Do you think that's because you attack the author personally? No uh, way. <sighs> <sighs> Can we, can we get Simon some water? So let's take a look at your title. The New York Times number one best sellout. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty personal attack, isn't it? It was uh, Shakespeare. What? Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Okay, so I'm not a Sally fan myself, but a lot of people out there really love her. Well, I love Sally Carter. Right, and you seem intent on provoking these fans. Your article implies you understand exactly how Sally Carmichael manipulates her audience and why. That's pretty bold. Ugh, ew. It's just an empty show. Mm -hmm. And it's 400 years of just copies. <laughs> just copies. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just looking at several people behind the cameras, including our producer, who disagree with you. Looks like we have a lot of Sally Carmichael fans in the studio today. Oh, whoa. Simon, thanks for being here today. I hope we weren't too rough on you. And now let's turn to the weather, where I hear we might have a chance of moisture.